This boy was in his bed with his pregnant mother when someone fired multiple shots right into that home. CBS 2's V-Win tells us about the victims and the investigation. Mike and Audrina, the four-year-old boy, was home with his mother, his mother's boyfriend, and three other siblings when someone started shooting into the back of their apartment. This morning, you can see the bullets went through the back door, back window, and the upstairs bedroom where the boy was sleeping with his mother. His grandmother says four-year-old Torian Dukes hadn't started school yet, but could already recite the alphabet. But this morning, this teddy bear is a reminder of the tragedy that happened inside their apartment. Destiny Cooper lives right next door and heard the gunshots. I was standing in the kitchen. We usually always just standing up, and I just heard three shots, but I didn't think it was coming. Here, the three shots sound like it was like right here in the area. Gary police were called to the apartment near 23rd Place and Morton Avenue around 1:10 this morning. Officers arrived and found Duke shot in the torso and his mother, who was three months pregnant, shot in the arm. She is in stable condition, but her son didn't make it. And here we got somebody outside shooting into this uh, housing development. What were we 10 days away from Christmas? Um, she just lost her youngest child, which was a four-year-old. It's a, a a tough tragedy. We learned his siblings, ages 13, 11, and 7, were also sleeping upstairs. They were not hurt. I usually see that little boy, like before it got cold, he usually be outside playing with the rest of the kids. Duke's grandmother says his father was shot and killed two months ago in Chicago. It's unclear if the shooting was random or if the family may have been targeted. Police say the mother's boyfriend is cooperating with the investigation. Reporting from Gary, V1, CBS 2 News. Gary, police do not have a description of the shooter. They're asking for the public's help right now. If you have any surveillance video, any information that could lead them to a person responsible, please call Gary Police. New at 11.